Hey everybody. Uh, well, I'm doing something kind of different. Um, I decided that I wanted to try this a while ago and I can't remember if I've done it before or not. <laughs> One of the benefits of getting old, I guess, is that um, you can do stuff and not remember whether you've done it or not and do it again. <laughs> And, um, so, anyway, I'm going to do a hair dryer swipe, but it's kind of with a combination Shelly Art and combination traditional pouring medium. Um, I've mixed the paint, um, with, um, about that much Shelly Art pouring medium, just enough to... I usually, here's how I mix it. I Like if I'm using pigment, which I use, only use pigment in one of these. Um, I'll put the pigment in and then I'll pour just enough pouring medium in there to mix it up. And then I add um, the rest of the pouring medium and mix it again. Um, so with this, I have um, put in the paint, put in the powder, you know, the... the um, pigment and then I put in just enough pouring medium to mix it up and then um, I put in for the rest of it instead of adding more Shelly Art pouring medium I added Floetrol and um, so it's about that much Shelly Art pouring medium in each cup and about that much Floetrol about two to one two uh, parts Floetrol and one part um, Shelly Art Pouring Medium. And I'm gonna do a swipe and a hair dryer swipe and see what happens. Um, like I said, I may have done it before and I can't remember. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens. I've, uh, I don't think I've done it before. I think I just thought about doing it. And then, um, but I, I don't think I ever actually did it. Um, but anyway, I didn't mix very many colors, just a couple. That's Prussian blue, and this is lime green. Um, kind of, it's gonna be kind of Caribbean colors, uh, I would say. This, uh, well, I don't know if you call it terracotta or um, it's red. It's a red, um, but um, I think it looks more like a vermilion or a terracotta kind of color. Um, and uh, so I got it. because it's kind of oozing that direction. Okay. And then there's, this is the pigment. Um, this is eye candy Okinawa green. I love these colors. I think they're really pretty together. See what I mean about being kind of Caribbean light, kind of festive. I think they're really pretty together. And then we have some yellow. This is Artist Loft um, yellow. Okay. And now for the cell activator. Um, this is um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, um, and I have added, or I am adding some uh, silicone to it. Just let's see what it'll do. It's an experiment. Let's see what we got. I think 
I'm gonna flip it one more time. Let's see what this does. back into position a little bit and then we'll see I like what I'm seeing so far the cells are looking really great and the lacing um, it's really pretty I'm gonna turn it so it'll so it'll all ooze back into position and not be oozing off that corner over there I see a dimple right here still and right over here. I'll give it just a minute longer. I can see it's still moving right in here. That's really beautiful, I think. I like the colors. I love this over here. That's gorgeous. This may be a new way to mix paint. I don't know of anybody doing this. Maybe they are. Um, I don't know, I've, I've never done it. Um, I don't even remember now when I thought of it. Um, I think I thought of it first a while back and then I forgot. I meant to try it and then I forgot about it. And let's see, I don't wanna blur that white off there if I can help it, but I may have to. I mean, I'm gonna have to draw, drop some paint off of here. There's lots of paint. Beautiful uh, lacing and cells so far. Just really pretty. Cells are just incredible. Look at those huge things. That's really something, I think. And the problem is that I've got to pour some paint off here and I don't want to pour it off. I don't, I don't want to lose any of it. It's all so gorgeous. I had that much paint it really didn't look like that much um, <laughs> I 
That's beautiful, I think. I really don't want to pour any more off, but um, I think I need to pour just a little bit more. I'll get it off this corner over here. I want to stretch out some of that stuff in that corner. Although now I don't need quite that much. I, I just didn't think I had that much. That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, I I don't know. I've gone back and forth about whether or not to torch it, just because it's got flow draw in it. Uh, I don't know what that might do. I'm not going to though, because I've torched these before and had little pin pricks come up, and I don't want to take a chance on that. That's a really beautiful piece, and. Um, I don't want to take any chances. Let me get y'all down so y'all can see up close and see if you think it's as pretty as I do. I think the lacing in the cells are just really incredible in that one. And I wonder if you need to use a cell activator since it's got the flow trawl in it and stuff. I'm going to try one without a cell activator in it and see what it does. Y'all look at this up close. See the cells? Yeah, I'm gonna try one without a cell activator and see, um, just blow it out like a Dutch pour. And, um, see what it does. With that same pouring medium. Look at that. Looks like a beehive, kinda. I love it. I think that's a beautiful piece. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Um, please join me next time and help me support my channel. I'm trying to grow it, and I need all the help I can get. Thank y'all for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your night. See you next time.